Hey guys, and in this video I'm going to be going through how to install SAS University Edition. Now, SAS is a very complex and expensive statistical package that I'm going to start doing videos on. But if, if you want it for free, you can actually get it for free completely legally from SAS itself. And that's by using SAS University Edition. So, in this video I'm going to show you how to install it because it's a little more complicated than just installing ordinary pieces of software. So we're, to do this, we're going we're gonna to need access to the the SAS website itself. But we're also we're, we're also going to need um, a piece of software called VirtualBox because the way we access the um, the way we access SAS is actually going to be through a web browser. But the the way the way it it processes the commands we send it is going to be through something called a, a virtual machine. So. To be able to run that virtual machine file, we need to download and install this VirtualBox software. I've already done that, so we're going to assume um, that you can just install a piece of software. But um, once you've done that, you need to go to this um, download SAS University Edition page, which you can just get from um, going to Googling SAS University Edition. We're going to scroll way down this page and it gives you a load of information, but um, that's just instructions which we're going to go through here. So, to actually download it, we're just going to hit this um, get download link, and it's going to tell us to log in. So, obviously, assuming you haven't done this before, you're just going to have to hit create, which is going to give you a basic. Um, a sign up process, but I'm just going to log in in this case because I I I already have a SAS account. So once I've entered in all my details, which and um, it's going to allow allow me to download SAS, and actually, as you can see there, it's going to going to start downloading automatically but if it doesn't start um, downloading there's, there's a, a, a link you can click and right away because we um, got the uh, because we, we went to the virtual virtual box page it it's gonna um, get, give us a virtual box file that we can download I'm gonna cancel this because I've already I've already got a copy of it. But once you've got that copy, assuming you've got VirtualBox installed as we previously went through, you can just um, go go to that file, du double click it, Virt VirtualBox will open and give you give you the the, de the details of the pr processor. I've done lots of videos on virtual machines before, but. Assuming, assuming you haven't seen those, a virtual a virtual machine is like a computer inside your co computer, which is going to run in this case a, a Linux operating system, um, which is going to run SAS for us. So assuming it is like a computer, this is going to give you all the all the details of the of the um, what that computer is going to have. So. It's, it's telling you here it's going to be able to use a gigabyte of your RAM. It's going to be able to have access to two two CPUs. But assuming that's all okay, you can just hit import. That's going to take take a bit of time to do its thing. And once that's done, we'll have the pr the processor installed. And we can see it, it says SAS University Edition powered off. Now to start the to start the processor and obviously we need to have this started before we can actually access it. We're just gonna highlight that and hit start. Because it's basically started a computer operating system, this is gonna this is gonna take a period of time to load up
once that's done you'll get a screen that looks something like this and as I said we're going to use a browser to interface with this so it gives us it gives us a, an address we can type into the browser to start accessing a slash university edition and as it says you can simply minimize um, virtual box and not having else to do with it because the, it's just going to be the processor it's not actually going to be what we're going to interact with so if we go go back to our browser and um, I'm just going to clear off this download here from earlier um, and we go to the address it said so localhost colon and mine was one zero zero eight zero um I think we're we're gonna get this such university edition um page and we can say it's checking for updates and because I've just downloaded the version and not and not updated it it's actually going to say it needs an update but that's not relevant for now um, but the main reason I wanted to do, do this video was because of this message here you, you need to have what's called what's called a, a, sh a shared folder set up um, and that is a way because, because the processor like I was saying before is basically setting up an extra computer it's, it's not going to by default have access to the files that are on your computer so there's going to be no way to to get other give this SAS install access to other files because it's a separate computer so how do we get around that well we use a feature of VirtualBox and what we need to do is set up a shared folder so to do that we're going to go back to our VirtualBox virtual machine and we're actually going to uh, um, turn it off because we need to interact with the machine so we need it off and so to do that we're going to go up here to where it says machine and we're going to say ACP, ACPI shutdown it's going to sh shut shut that shut down our s s statistics and in environment so that we can then manipulate it once we've done that we're going to we're going to go back to our main virtual box um, window and we're going to hit settings from there we can go to storage it's then going to tell us about the um, main SAS, SAS software that we have installed but we, we want to add a shared folder so we're, we're going to go over to this shared folders option and click add it's then gonna ask us where this where this folder is. Where's the folder that we want to give our virtual machine access to? Well, um, you can set up a new folder. It recommends putting a folder called My Folder on the desktop. But we can actually select any folder. So to put the folder path in automatically, we can just click this arrow and click Other. And I already have a folder for all my SAS um stuff so I'm gonna select it now but you can you, you can select it from um anywhere and we're just gonna hit the SAS um folder and hit choose. We also want it to auto mount because we want it to be available um as soon as we open SAS we're then going to hit OK. If we hit OK again and restart our virtual machine, the, this this time it should SAS sh should know about our folder. So give us access to all the data files that we put in that folder to to use in SAS. So um. Well, once this um, reloads, we should now be able to go back over here, hit Start SAS Studio, and it's gonna 
tell me about an update because I, I said, uh, as I said before, I've just downloaded this, so it needs updating. But uh, for, the, for the sake of this, I'm just going to say open SAS Studio. Here we have a full environment where we can write and save SAS code. As I uh, indicated earlier, if we want access to any SAS files, we can just put them in that folder. And as we see, uh, um, here we've got a, a folder called SAS. And if we open that folder, well. We've we've got all our all our files that are in that folder, and just to we can open any of those files, read any of those files, and and do anything we want to with those files. We can we can also save files here right from SAS. So that was how to install SAS University Edition. It's actually a very fully featured version of SAS. There are some things that quite don't quite work the same, but it's it's generally exact, exactly the same. So. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something. Bye bye.